child rape by police is a deeply disturbing and heinous crime that not only violates the victim, but also breaches the trust placed in law enforcement authorities. Cases involving such crimes can have profound and long-lasting impacts on victims, their families, and communities. These incidents often lead to calls for stringent accountability, reform in police practices, and enhanced measures to protect vulnerable individuals. A Franklin County Sheriff's deputy is facing dozens of felony charges for rape and gross sexual imposition. Deputy Charles Davis was arrested today by U.S. Marshals in Ross County. NBC4's Anna Hoffman has been working to learn more about a disturbing story. So, Anna, what can you tell us? Yeah, disturbing it is, Colleen. And according to the indictment, about half of those offenses involve a person under 13. Davis has been indicted on 58 counts, 32 for rape and 26 for gross sexual imposition. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office says they were made aware of this investigation last September. The indictment says the offenses happened between March 2020 and October 2022. Half of the charges he is facing involve a person under 13 years old. I spoke with U.S. Marshal Black after the arrest. He says they were not involved in the investigation, but did carry out the arrest. He says when the marshals are arresting someone in law enforcement, it can slightly change their approach, but not their mission. When we are tasked with that, we treat them just like we would any other fugitive. Um, we go after them. Um, we try to, do it, try to do it as quickly as possible, as safely as possible to everybody involved. But it does change things a little bit because we know they're armed and we know that they um, have tactics somewhat and possibly some training just like we that, that we all have. Franklin County Sheriff Dallas Baldwin released a statement. It says, this is an extremely serious matter and I have full faith in the investigation. We are committed to maintaining the highest standard of conduct and accountability. I want to reassure our citizens that we are dedicated to transparency, professionalism, and as always, the safety of our community. According to the Ross County court docket, Davis was arraigned today and has been released from jail. He's expected in court at the end of August. Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now when we think of police officers, we think of protectors, people who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities, exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability, thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers, and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty. It's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together to demand transparency and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant.